Hi, it's W1 Pro 9 here. We are sat in the lobby for our round five game of the FFA tournament, top 72. Um, currently waiting for the lobby to fill, and we'll just have a quick look at the situation and the sort of the tactics we're looking at going into this game. So, um, yeah, this is a looking at the leadable we're at the minute. Currently sat in tied 45th. Um, cut off for the last round was 48 points, um, top 72. Um, or nearest damn it. We, um, yeah, sort of made it by seven points. It went up 15 points last round from 33 to 48. Um, this round is a 70% domination round, which usually has slightly less points associated with it. Um, or sort of like the, the jumps can be not as high because there's not as, usually as many bounties. Um, it's usually maybe one or two bounties. Um, so it's sort of makes the amount of points available in the round um, a bit lower. So 15 point jump last time, probably expecting somewhere in the realms of sort of 12 to th 12 to 14 this time. So we're looking at 60, uh, 60, 62, meaning we probably need eight plus points to secure progression into the next round. So 43. Um, just looking at the rules, the 70% of the sort of mentioned um, so user rules apply if you come sixth you get second, fifth you get fourth, uh, fifth you get four, fourth you get sixth, when you get on the normal. But if for example when um the seventy percent is completed, if for example there are four players left alive, um so we, uh only one was killed, um uh, four four players who didn't win but still alive, and then they get all the remaining position points uh, split across them. So for example, if everyone's left alive, you get six points. Um, one person died, you get seven, eight, nine. So in essence, don't die um, is the is the key to this. So um, yeah, we'll be looking to make sure of our position um, and secure a sort of corner of the board ideally. Being if being fixed, you know, we get to a certain amount of a certain amount of certain amount of troops, then it's not really profitable to kill um, people unless they've already been fed. Um, so yeah, this is our group for today. Um, World well, number one on the uh, Sabre ranking is Arco in our group and a selection of other yeah, top players. Um, look at my stats. Yeah, slowly grinding our way back up to Grandmaster after a, um, falling back down. Those are those stats. Uh, Gorilla for the United States, uh, 26. Okay, Master, 1100 games played. Uh, Landshark 11, also from the US, 23k Master. Two of one games played, 58 107 record. No will be ones. Uh, Roosevelt, Volgies, Volgaries. Um, 29k Grandmaster, 2500 games played. Uh, not many player friends. And then Chris, 14, 14, 33, um, 26k Grandmaster, 25k. Lots of games played, 7,500, in fact. Wow. Big stats. Um, and then we are just waiting on Arco to appear. And last but not least is Arco, 26k Grandmaster from Canada, 13,000 games played. Those are just the stats you want to see. And 69.6 and 96.9. To bring lots, lots of 69.69s in there on their pass and play. Designed, I'm sure. And the 42 and 69 are casual. 420 even. Right. Right, off we go. into the lobby, and into the game. So, um, reverse world, you see t territories in total when you get rid of the blizzards, um, which brings it to a total of 42% uh, 42 for the 70%. Um, like I said, the main operation is don't die, keep it tight, secure the bonus and ideally a portion of the board at the same time. We go first. OK. 
go first and let's look at the bonus in a sec. I got quite a good tape for the one up here, but I don't really want that bonus because it's plus three. But it is a one. Hmm. Let's go in here. Right, Let's see if we can get that rolled out. Okay, not the best start, not the worst start. I can bring this three in next turn to my bonus. I've got one exterior position, which is kind of good. I don't particularly want huge amount more. So if we were being a bit more predatory than Blanche, I would. We've got a dude on our first card as well. Oh, except Chris Lights. Chris has got a great play for India. I don't see many people get that. Yeah, he's going to go for it. I don't blame him. Plus seven. Just remind them. White doesn't have a great play for very much, to be honest. Imagine what white will do. It's probably stack on that portal. Yeah, so I think what is likely to happen, well, what I'm going to allow to happen, I'm going to have to take this in turn three. I don't particularly like it. But I don't think we've got too many other options. Not sure what they're saying here. I think they want that bonus. Can't. Let's look into transition from the three to the seven. Let's make an alliance of hello. Try and figure out what the hell's going on. I think there's too much, so I don't think anyone's going down here. Is Arc going to go for? That's the question. Yeah, no, I get it. I'll be gone. They're going to smack anything. No. Right, let's do this. Yes, 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 we understand. Okay. Then we'll go 
I'm going to break me in reality. Don't think so. I think I'll put this into here to be like, I will hit you next time if I need to. I think what white will do now is I move that three through that portal into their purse. Let's fiddle our UI a little bit as well. Easy for our mobile watches. Now I can secure that turn. One thing we can't let yellow do is to hold both the bonuses. B suicide soul. Just remind him. Let's move that three out, please. And we'll throw out my heart. Right, okay. Yeah, the cards. We want a cannon. Good, 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 good. Slamming. Get a bad dice here. He's saying, I'll leave that bonus. The arc could take it. So I think what Yellow is indicating there, they don't they're not saying they want to hold that plus three in West Arctic. Swap to the plus seven. Yeah, he's going to do it, yeah. Yeah, and they say well played as well, they recognize it. Right, so... Sure of that. Yeah, yeah, we're fine. It's a slower take than we would have liked, but it's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Let's position that there so we've sort of if white decides to hit us, yeah, no, we're fine. I'm just. I haven't got any portals in my territory next time, it's nice. Uh, yeah, right. It's not too much. So right, what Green is trying to say is they want to secure the corner of the board. So they'd be able to, they'd have a one, one point. Or yeah, they basically just start growing out of that, that side of the board. Right, okay, we didn't get we didn't get our artillery like we would liked, but hopefully this turn. We're in the in the pack, the troops.
Yeah, I should attack the yellow. They don't want the yellow in behind them. I'd say. Yeah, well played. Is the portal open, which is probably fair enough now. There's nothing, no one trying anything daft at this particular stage. to hit that too. Oh, kind of they do that. I recognise I need to get value out of it because I'm just going to move it. All very friendly. Right. Um. Let's expand out a little bit into here. There's a troop, obviously. Hooray, and trade. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Interesting. That does connect into there. Red can get in through there. So there's ones, which is interesting. I thought they were going to try and block it out on a two point. I like this position here, though. Access to a lot of the board, which isn't being utilized at the minute, and Red sort of taking. Taking ones in, which we're a fan of. But then it's about to say, "White's well, looking a bit weak. Could we do anything if they're out on four cards?" But no, they trade. Don't think. Anyone complain too much if they took that? That's the same as what? Yeah, I'll give them a thumbs up for that. Not one of the short stacks. So, off the back of this now, I've got a plus five. Black's got plus seven, yellow's got plus seven, white's got plus seven, Arca's got plus four, green has got, yeah, not very much, and then the plus three. Can we kill green? Is it worth it to kill green? Ten on it, five more on here. Five could come up into there. Additional five troops. I'm going to come in with a 
be heroically tight. And the portal closed as well, so yeah, no, it's not a thing. Plus two as well. Let me go for that. Beauty about being first in turn order is I can pet my portals at the beginning of the turn rather than having to do it. Like for example, all these guys now, when they've got portals in their territories, they need to block them up in the turn before. Whereas in reality, I get two chances because I'm first in turn order. The portals before no one has a chance to hit me or go through my territories before the portals um, open. So I can do it retrospectively, which is always helpful. Right, gorilla single stacks pretty much in my face. <laughs> Green player that is. Try and get in here next turn if we can. So, we're saying we're making the kills worthwhile. Even now, I mean, if, if the black player were to sit on five cards, they might be worth looking at with the portals open. But we shall see if we can encourage anyone to go for that. If they sit on five cards, would somebody do it if I knocked out the stuff over here? Yellow yeah, sits on five cards. Interesting. I think Arco and the Black knows they're at risk. I think they will trade if they can. They can't. Oh, sorry. I mean, I meant to send this to white. Right, okay. We'll do something we're not particularly proud of here, but we will try and improve our ball position. Um, can't say fair than that now, can I? So I better go for it. Let's see if they'll do it instead.
Right, okay, fine. We're in. Right, does Chris go for something? Currently holding one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, fourteen. Fourteen positions on board if I only get hit twice. That'll be good. Did I get a trade? No. I'm ourselves up for a ten trade. See if we can get this moving. They're, they're calculating it. I think it's worthwhile for them, in my opinion. Oh, I'm going that way. We fed it. Oh, wow, well, okay, good man will roll. That was a very expensive thing for them. That was a very expensive kill. Yeah, well played. Yeah, attack white, yeah, agreed. I need to improve my board position. Say, so I need to attack your territory. Art, I want to get in that bonus up here, ideally. Oh, yeah, that white, yeah, fine. Yeah, we're attacking white, don't worry. But I don't have much access to attack white. I say it's still sorry, I need to attack your territory. Yes, yes, attack white, but I still need to attack your territory. Fine. Don't particularly want to hit that. If I just, if I just trade on three, I probably would do, but don't. So not going to. Right, let's just move that six down here, because well, the white can get into me anyway. Oh, we'll spaz around and not have a trade on four. Excellent. No trade on four. Not ideal. Gets the 10 trade. Through the dabs to 69. Oh, 59 troops now. I hope even without the trade on. I 
I hope now even without the trade on four, I'm not going to be in a position where someone's going to want to try and kill me. It's not profitable at all. So we sort of we put ourselves in the realms now of waiting for the 70% run to come, and hopefully for us to capitalise on it. It's very difficult to make the 70% run straight off the bat. Um, yeah, they're not the territory's time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Um, we got a card there. And to there. Oh, I'll throw our dabs because we're fun. Uh, what card did we get then? trade you son of a bitch <sighs> yeah no one is worth killing anymore red looking strong They also don't have a trade. Or waiting for a 10 set. Like I said, for example, you were sat with three dudes and a horse. I'm pretty sure you would, you'd wait to see if you could get another one. Uh, another, I get a can for a, a 10 trade. In my case, I hope to get a horse and get another dude. Yeah, red's lining up to take this. Great access in through here. Got a few up in here. So the main route of attack will be up through here. What my line's like. Need a lot more in here. Is yellow thinking about something? Eleven is completely overpowered here. Um, I think we're going to move this down. I said I don't have to move, to move troops now. because I'm going to be the first one to be on the portal when it opens. I needed you last turn. Bloody dudes trade. <laughs> yeah, well played. Stay there. Yeah, okay, that's good because that stops Chris having an easy run at it now. I think they might have considered it. 
It was 29, had a lot of stuff in here. Through my 15, through this 15 up into here. This 27 had pretty much a, a good run up into white. And with their extra troops there, they could have gone up through here. So that would have been. I think Red would have been a serious contender then if, if they. Yeah. Okay. I want to hit that territory. White has cleverly bolted that up. Now we're one short of the 15, which we were sat on. Eleven, right, white's knocking them back down again now, which is good to see. So I'm not going to attack that anyway. It's 13, just a speed bump along the road. Move it here instead. Do I want someone, do I want to encourage someone to try and go for it? I suppose that's more of the question. 13 is just a speed bump. To move back. Hmm. That's well no, it still stops right getting into this part of the board. They've already got troops accessible in here. So it's forty two territories to win. I do have the troops to win it now. So by leaving that open, I'm sort of trying to encourage somebody to potentially go for it. There's a lot of open ones on portals here. This whole section up here. My section up into here as well. Right, so Red's office not thinking of going through there anymore. I imagine the 38 is going to move somewhere more active. No, okay, it doesn't. They get the dude's trade on five as well. Thinking about it, I should have used the opportunity to get up into here. Oh, well, if buts and all the rest of it. Cannon trade again, okay. Which territory do I want? A plus two one. Which got them in a line here. Eh? Um, Horn Province of Pacific East. Okay, but those are. No, oh, that's the horse. Okay, fine. 
one province it is. Right. Okay. If this is progressive, that'd be lovely to kill guard, but it's not, so Okay, that was a thing. Do we see run? Try and spice it up a little bit, get them thinking that they should go. Province. That's Shove that in there. Right, dude's card if we get the chance. Who's gonna be the first to give it a go? No, we're not seeing anything here. We are. Ooh, lovely roll. Oh, they got a nice roll on that. There we go. Hmm. So there's four left alive, so we get seven points. I'll take us up to sixty two. What do you reckon? That's probably the top end of what will survive. So yeah, I don't think do we have an opportunity for doing anything there? I don't know. I felt very much if I was going to do anything in that game, I needed to get a bigger bonus and some better trades. Potentially, far too many sort of non ten trades in there. But anyway, seven points, sixty-two. Um, that should see us progress, I think. Um, and then we definitely need a win in round six. I'm not quite sure what the settings are for that; they haven't been released. But um, not a disaster. I said we we set up not to be killed. We weren't. Um, Hopefully 62 is enough. But anyway, thanks for watching. And um, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.